fellow St. Lucians, blessings of the Holy Spirit upon you and your family during this time of joy and reflection. Our government continues to reach out to all sectors of our society to encourage personal, family, and community responsibility to slow the spread of COVID-19. We encourage all to be even more vigilant this Christmas season with the threat of the new Omicron variant. We also recognize that during this difficult time, some long-held traditions will have to be curtailed or greatly reduced. This will continue to cause dislocation of families and the community in general. There have been many calls, however, by members of the community, businesses, workers, and worshippers at our various churches to allow some more time for worship and gatherings within the specific established protocols. The Prime Minister, members of the COVID-19 Management Center, and other officials of government have met with representatives of many of these organizations and the concerns of the health officials, community leaders, and also leaders of these various community organizations have been expressed. The cabinet took all factors into consideration and decided to adjust the times within the protocols to allow more time for the approved gatherings and religious services. The following changes have been made. On Saturday 25th at 1 a.m., Christmas Day at 10 p.m., Sunday 26th December at 6 p.m., Monday 27th December at 6 p.m., Tuesday 28th December, Wednesday 29th December, and Thursday 30th December at 10 p.m. All these times are adjusted in the protocols so that St. Lucians can be at home at these times to avoid the spread of COVID-19. On Saturday, 1st of January, 1 a.m. And the evening of New Year's Day at 10 p.m. Sunday, the 2nd of January at 6 p.m. And Monday, the 3rd of January at 6 p.m. Tuesday, 4th of January at 10 p.m. Sunday, 9th of January, 5 p.m. Monday, the 10th of January to Friday, the 14th of January at 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. All of these announced times are adjusted in the protocols so that St. Lucians can be at home and remaining with family to avoid the spread of COVID-19. We intend to continue to work with you to keep our country safe. This is a very difficult time for all of us. All of us would love to be with our friends and our relatives at all times of the evening, but we encourage you to continue to make this little sacrifice so that in January, February, and the other months in 2022, we can say that we have kept COVID-19 at bay. I wish you well. Thanks to all who continue to be in the battle to keep COVID-19 out of our homes and our communities. Thanks to you for your sacrifices, and thanks to all of the people of St. Lucia. We can do this, let us do it together, and with the adjusted protocols, let us be responsible and let us use the adjusted time for the purposes which they were requested for. Thanks very much. Have a peaceful Christmas and a wonderful 2022. I thank you.